It's that time again. Time for us to gather together and share a nightmare. And we have all the proper ingredients. A setting sun, a deep, dark swamp, and most importantly, a monster. A wicked stew indeed. Our tale is called The Thing in the Lake. A sinister recipe for a horrifying midnight snack on the Nightfall radio show. I've said it before, and I'll keep on saying it. Georgia is strange. And by strange, I'm not talking about those low-level, superficial trademarks that could be alluded to about any state in the country. Each, of course, in their own way. Everybody's got ghosts. You know, haunted locations. And UFOs? Holy shit. They're zipping across the skies, coast to coast, with impunity. And my God, if you live anywhere between Atlanta and Anchorage, and there's more than two or three trees, a Bigfoot sighting is totally possible. But Georgia Strange is old, deep, mysterious. As old as the Paleo Indians, Georgia's first inhabitants. I remember my grandfather telling me about Suwannee Lake on the north side of the Okefenokee Swamp. It's an oxbow of the Suwannee Creek which runs from the west into the swamp. But he told me about there being a strange creature in the lake. In fact, he called it a monster. He told me that it even killed people before. It would either swim up under the boat and turn it over, or it would just snatch someone right out of the boat. In either case, it would rip and tear its victims to pieces. He said it was something prehistoric, or maybe even something that came from space. He even caught sight of it once. That's what he told me. It was back in the 50s. He and a friend were out on the lake fishing, and just as dusk was coming on, they heard an enormous splash. They looked around, of course, and to their left, they saw something in the water, something moving towards them. And whatever it was, it was big, at least the size of a big bull alligator. And then a huge serpent-like tail whipped out of the water. And this was followed by a reptilian type head rising up. The thing's slanted yellow eyes flashed in anger, along with an aggressive hiss from its mouth, which was laced with large, sharp teeth. Both men looked at each other with that let's get the fuck out of here expression of confirmation and agreement. My grandfather started that Evan Rude outboard motor and they got the hell out of there. So that was in 1952. My grandfather would tell this story every once in a while. That's how I know it so well. But now of course he's long gone and it's left to me. But I've come to understand that every time I share this story, that he's still with me every day. <laughs>